Hey guys, I'm going to show you how you can turn your car hood into wall art by hanging it on the wall in your man cave or garage. Now, you need vinyl, you need a credit card or something to smooth it out. Now, I'm using 3M Control Tack. This is what most vinyl wrap users use for their vehicles. As you can see, it has air channels in the back which are easily able to smooth out, makes it your whole life easier. Now, you need your hood clean. It, can have no clear coat peel and no nothing because when you lay that down you will see every imperfection on the hood so first off I tried using some stripper and you can see that that did not work so then I had to switch to my sander now my sander I went from 40 80 to 220 and you just have to get it smooth you don't need to go down to the base coat After sanding it I decided to lay down a piece to check how smooth it was and it was good so this is what the finished product looks like. The mountain brackets are J brackets that I had from my cabinets that I didn't use. Now those you have to space them off your hood so that it sits flush on the wall. If they're recessed it will cause problems and your hood will go into your wall. So it just clips onto a rail system that you put on your wall, the gray piece. I cut it, I bent the ends, I put it up there with two lag screws quarter inch it's not going to move and then you level off and now you can just hook the hood right on top of it. Now you need to level your car hood brackets so they're level. What you do is you take your wall bracket you hold it up on your car hood brackets and you lift it up so it's level and then tighten down the bolts. I decided to test fit it before putting the vinyl on I didn't want to scratch the vinyl so I hung it on the wall I checked the top and bottom and made sure that they're not digging into the wall and now it was set. So I laid down my vinyl on the hood, put one corner on and I peeled it off. It's easier when you have two people but I had to do it by myself. So once you peel off and lay it down you smooth it out. In your curved portions of your hood you have to make sure you cut it every couple of inches so that you can fold that vinyl and it will not crease or ripple up and you can see how it's finished on top and then underneath your hood will look like this. Now I put it back up, put it on the wall, made sure it was level and it turned out pretty good and here's the original picture. For my hood I decided to go with a logo with words so it was a little bit different. You cut the latch, I had to fix a couple holes on this hood and then it was perfect. Now. I laid it down, you have to measure from the corners the words so that it's level. And this time I recommend you use a hair dryer because it went so much easier. Do the same thing with the curved portion, just cut it and then here it is laid down. Now I put up in the wall, I knew where those brackets were from my previous one and I just hung it right up and this is what it looks like. next hood I decided to do an American flag smoke which looks really cool. I did it on a different hood so I had to repair the hood with some Bondo. It was only one little hole. Once I got that repaired I worked on the back. Now this one I had to drill holes with my Unibit. Put my finger to hold the nut on the back of the bolt. Now this one I had to use wood spacers because the hood was deeper than normal. So you can see how I used a level to check that. Now it's level and now I put the vinyl on it and the vinyl I just smoothed out, made it look good, get all the air bubbles out. This one I had to seam. I tried it many ways with X-Acto knife but I decided to overlap a little bit and you can see in the pictures you can see the seam but once it's up on the wall you can, cannot even tell it's been seamed. So. This is what it looks like, the finished product, each individual one. It, uh, they look good, they look great on the wall. It's a unique wall decoration for your man cave or garage. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys can do some of these for your own building.